Hey, what's up you guys? This is Lucas here from XLWell.com and great that you're joining today's video. Because have you always wondered how millionaires actually became so wealthy? How they got actually to all their finances they actually wanted to in their lives? Well, I'll tell you this, you can do the same thing. In today's video, I'm gonna go through how millionaires manage their personal finances. Curious? Be sure to watch today's video. Let's go into it. Millionaires always have a clear path for their money. Now, if you really think about that clear path, it's not that, you know, that they have a road that is empty saying like, okay, we don't have any idea of where the road actually takes us. Well, millionaires actually have a different kind of mindset compared to people who believe that millionaires are actually far out of their reach. Like, you know, like a far away bed show. That is a Dutch uh, proverb that doesn't work really in English, but that's okay. But the idea is if your money doesn't have a clear path the moment it reaches your bank account, most likely becoming a millionaire is really hard. And yes, a millionaire is just somebody who has slightly more money compared to somebody who's not become a millionaire yet. So yes, why do we always think like, I want to be a millionaire? Well, a millionaire is not that hard. The question is, how does your money actually work? How does your money actually work and walk towards the other side of your bank account? Because if it just arrives in your bank account and just says, oh, I'm, I have arrived in the bank account and now be split up in all kinds of little pots, then, you know, it disappears most likely. Millionaires don't think like that. Millionaires always say, you know what? My money needs to go somewhere first that makes and generates more money. And that's the very first step of the money flow for millionaires. Now, if you want to build this millionaire in the near future, everybody can become a millionaire within 10 years if you really focus for it. If you really focus on, you know what? The next coming 10 years in my life, I'm going to focus becoming a millionaire. Then yes, you will be able to become one. But the very first thing is, you gotta think about generating money using that money that you get. And this can be all kinds of things. This can be starting a business. This can be thinking like, you know what? I'm putting it away in a certain investment that will generate me money over time. But you have to think, what will I do with the money that I get? If the money is not being put to work to generate more money, then it's always gonna be your time that you're gonna input to be able to generate more money. Now, who wants to be working like 100 hours per week? Who wants to be working like 80 hours per week? Who wants to be working 40 hours a week? People work 40 hours a week. But if you only get paid 40 hours a week, you're never gonna become that millionaire because you're never gonna be paid $1,000 per hour. Well, some people do but they've achieved something first to be able to say, you know what? My time is really valuable. My time is at least $1,000 per hour. Until that moment, you will not be able to charge $1,000 per hour. Until that time, you'll never be able to say, you know what? I can become that millionaire. This is why, step number one, make something to generate money using that money that comes in. Now, we all get it. I've heard this one before, that money is the root of all evil. Now, most likely you've heard of that one before. But the thing is, we need money in our lives. We need money in our lives to get around. Now, there are people who live in those mountain villages that actually have no penny at all and have a very happy and satisfying life. And I get that. I get that. They live off their own lands and they, you know, nobody gets actually, nobody gets in touch with them because, you know, they live there. But the thing is, in the current modern world, we need money to get around. And that's very logical. Now, you can hate money, you can love money, but in the end, money is just a good, a just a necessity that we need to exchange value from one to the other. Now, the moment I say millionaires, people very often they think about like, oh, those wealthy people living in their mansions, having their super, super cars and super luxury things that, you know, you don't have. But I'll tell you this, most of the millionaires in this world don't live their life like that. They just have a very normal life. 
The only thing is, they don't have to worry about finances because, you know, they've got their finances sorted. Why? Well, it's very simple. They've got all the necessities fixed. And that's what you need to do as well. You can live your wealthy life. You can buy all the things you want to. You don't have to live like, like the super wealthy, like, you know, like those millionaires that you see on TV that throw money just like that. You don't have to live like that. Most millionaires don't live like that. And yes, I'm a real estate investor myself. If you take a look at my capital, yes, it's worth over millions, but I don't live like that. I, I just live in a normal home. I just live in a normal street in a neighborhood with normal people. And yes, I do, and I don't throw with money. But yes, the moment my car breaks down, I just get my car fixed and I don't have to worry about thinking, hmm, can I pay this bill? I don't worry about that because I've got my finances fixed. I know that it is a necessity to have money. This is why I'm always sure that I have enough to pay for all the bills that I need to. And yes, I need to pay for my bills as well. But I can also think like, you know what? If I need something extra, I have the money laying around. This is why you got to think differently. It's so important for you to think, you know what? Money is a necessity. I don't love money. I don't hate money. Money is a necessity. It is a good to exchange value and we just need to have it to use it. This is why step number one is so important. Make sure it generates more so that you have more of it. Sounds very simple, but you got to have your mindset to it first. Once you understand that money is a necessity, once you understand money is a good, now you don't have to love it, you don't have to hate it like I said before, but the thing is, now you need to know to have a certain plan what to do with the money, how to make it more, how to let it work for you. Well, that's very simple. I always say there's a seven step plan and it always starts not with paying your bills that you actually need to pay. I get that. That's very important because if I take a look at all the tenants who live in my homes, yes, the first bill that they always pay the moment their salary comes in is yes, their accommodation. And I totally get that because that 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 is a basic need of, you know, of UME. Living underneath a roof that actually keeps you warm and safe. Yes, that is very important. And we need electricity and we need water and we need food. But if you really think about that, those things do not generate you anymore. They just, you know, keep you alive, <laughs> which is very logical. You know, that, that, that's, that's the basic needs of a life. But the thing is, if you want to be working, if you want to have your money working for more money, then the very first basic thing is set your money aside to let it work. This is why my first step that I always teach people is don't pay for the necessities as the first case but pay yourself first. Now you might be thinking, paying yourself first? Yes, paying yourself first to be able to grow over time, that's the most important thing. Now I'm not telling you to say like, you know, if you only have $2,000 of income per month, you should pay $1,000 to yourself first, and then, you know, we'll take a look and see if we can pay the bills later on. Well, it doesn't work really like that because if you pay yourself first with $1,000, then you're just an idiot. Right, you're just an idiot. You're just spending too much money on yourself and then later on, no doubt have enough money to pay for the necessities. This is why you gotta calculate and you gotta divide the amount saying like, okay, this is the amount that I get each and every month. These are the necessities. And yes, I get that. I will put these aside for the necessities. But the first thing is I have like $50 left to pay you know, to pay myself, to invest in myself. And you can just invest that into a certain part. Now, the moment you've done that, you could say like, you know what? I've invested $50 in myself and I'm gonna use this part of money later on the moment it accumulates to a certain amount. I'm gonna use that amount to teach myself a certain skill. You know, and if you've watched my other videos, video editing is a very nice one. Or being a social media expert could also be a one. Investing in yourself, this is why it's so, so very important. Now, the second step that I always would say is invest. Invest your money in, in things like stocks or real estate or something that will grow over time. Now, I'm not telling you to buy Pokemon cards. If, if that's a hobby, of course, that, that's totally fine. But, <laughs> but, but 
Pokemon cards do not grow in value over time, as, uh, unless you buy a Charizard first edition, of course, but th that's different. We're not talking about Pokemon cards today. We're not talking about Pokemon cards. But investing in something that will grow over time. And I love stocks because stocks, you can actually just influence and yet let them grow over time. And this is the coolest part. You have to invest your money into things that grow over time. Have a clear path, like I said before, but also have very clear purposes for your money each and every month. Now, if you're actually wondering like, okay, Lucas, you mentioned seven things. Well, that's a very good one because today I brought my book and you can get your own copy. Click the link down below in the description to get your own copy now. And yes, I'm not trying to sell you my book or anything, but in my book, I describe you the seven ways, and I'm actually looking at my book at the same time, I'm not looking at the camera, but in my book, you can actually look up the seven ways, the seven things you need to be paying first before you actually get to all your necessities seven ways and I actually did that in my book if you want to learn how to invest then this is your way be sure to click the link down below in the description to get your own copy now and if you like this video of course be sure to hit that like button because it will really help out YouTube's algorithm and of course if you like more content like this be sure to come back to my channel and watch videos like these I thank you very much for watching happy investing see you on the next